why she had just read the Bible. Little did I know we were having a little smoke between me and her. She was preparing me for life. And even though at times I didn't want to listen, because it was a God thing or a Christian thing, or okay, mom, I'm just being mom, you know, she prayed. And she says to me, Joe, I see you preaching one day. I said, you're up there preaching this word. At the time, she had cancer. And I was saying to myself, wow, that medication proved something to her. <laughs> Look at me now. Look at me now. That's all for his glory. And his glory alone. Because it's through his word, he used her to talk to me. Now he talk, but pray and believe. You know, I've heard today that, you know, your mom's watching you. I, you know, I like to think that, but I don't think she is. She's up there watching for God 24 7. She, you know, I know she's in heaven, and by her passing away, I came closer to God because I knew there was a heaven and I knew there was a hell. And I thought I knew the Bible. And guys, living a godly life doesn't mean you're going to heaven. Living a godly life doesn't mean that, that Everything you, know, you do are within God's standards. Right? Living a godly life is following God's footsteps. We're not we're human. We're not perfect. We're gonna stumble, but we're gonna get back back up. Amen. Amen. And uh and boy did I get to know God quick. Because uh she says uh when she had talked to me and uh, doing her passing, she praised God and uh my sister was also a Christian at the time, she always played worship music. And uh, although at, at, at time when now she got weak, weaker and weaker, she still praised God. She only could move two fingers, but as the music went on, she would wave them back and she cried. We know she was listening. We know she was listening and I said, wow, the faith that this woman has, you know, being in her, her death, literally her deathbed, praising God, and not only praising God, but letting me know that there is a God. She could have easily abandoned God with what she was going through. But she knew God has a purpose. Who knows? He took her home. She's home. But through her death, I become to know God. And I became to show that word with others. Amen. So parents, fathers, don't give up on your kids, man. Don't give up on your kids. Continue to pray and preach. Preach the word of God. Amen? Amen. And this challenge goes out to everyone. It says, at the Warriors Conference, conference, we talked about moving from trying to be godly to training to be God. And by training to be God is looking into his word. Do you know that God described his word as a sword? It's just like the scriptures we just read. All those layers of developing you so, you, so it won't break you or, or you won't fail. You think if the warriors go out there and battle, they're gonna, they're gonna use a sword that's gonna probably break halfway to the battle or the first try? No, they're gonna use that strong sword that they can come back home with and be sharpened for the next battle. Because God, guys, I'm telling you right now, there are battles in life. We do go through battles, and it's what we do with those battles is how God sees us. We give Him glory, we give Him praise. He puts you through it. I know at times it may seem that it's not, uh, it's not coming through, but on His word, He says, "Be patient." He says to my mom, "Be patient." I'm sure there was times he's like, "Come on, man. You know, am I ever going to see this guy come to know you?" Because if I had a, those of you know me know I'm a twin, and I had a brother who always just tell on me all the time. <laughs> and being a pimp, being a Christian person I was, I'm sure at times he complained about what I was doing or why I didn't do, or, or he promised me he'd be in church and he didn't show up. I'm sure my mother spoke to him. And I'm sure she spoke to him through the word of God, the word, word of God. And she said, be patient. It's not your time, it's God's time. You know, we're going through stuff right now and, and, and issues and and, uh, and when we, we ask God when, 
When is this going to all end? When is this going to this going to this going to happen for us? You know, while we wait, we're still praying. While we wait, we're still praising. While we wait, we're still you know preaching. While we wait, we're still worshiping. How about that worship team up here today? Huh? You know, and I, you know, I always throw in my stories because those are the stories that I can relate to and I can speak with because they come from the heart and they're true. I came to Rome with God, and a bunch of you already know this through all they come from, my first one I went through. And uh, I don't know if you remember this, but a few weeks ago we had a sister of us, uh, maybe give a testimony, who's here with us right now. I came to know God with Dean. So that person, had a, he had a special place in my heart. You know, he, he's right next to me when we prayed the prayer, and we, we went all in. He's, he's home now, too, as you already know. He's, she knows where he is. You know, through, through, through his fight against us, she can tell you her story. She told you her story already. I don't need to go there any further. And if you missed it, you should have missed church, guys. <laughs> It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was excellent to hear, it was excellent to see, and there was not a guy in the sky. An eye, an eye, an eye. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So this fairness goes out to everyone. The Bible is your sword, and it gives you ability to cut through that junk, negativity, trouble influences, and, and all the junk that you're going through in life. It gives you the strength to go through it all. The hate, the gossip, the negative. Now, use the Bible. And through this, through his word, ain't nothing like that is going to stop you from preaching it. Oh! So, God, guys, continue to read his word. Give God a chance. He says the Bible will continue to fight and cut through all that garbage. By the way, there'll be water running also with the, uh, with the hot dogs. And if you are here today and you're battling these influences and struggling through your relationships to know and trust God, then first you got one of, of faith. The scriptures we read said that we have to come to know God the first scripture we just read, we have to come to know God and to believe in him and to admit that we need him. Amen? Amen. You could be a good person all your life, like I just finished saying. And you could be a, 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 a person to take off the shirt off your back. And, and me, at the time that I know in the Bible, I thought, Mom, I'm a good person. I'm going to have it. I'm a good person. I, I do anything for anybody. You know, I, I, I don't kill, I don't steal. You know, you think about the Ten Commandments, but there's more than Ten Commandments in this world. <coughs> right now. And if you don't know them, it's time to get into it. And uh, see, that's because I didn't know the Bible. And mom used to always tell me, you know, you have, to, have you given your heart to Christ? I said, God knows my heart. She goes, that's not the question I asked. I asked you, giving your heart to Christ. And I'll say, yeah, because you know, I know that's what she wanted to hear, but, and I also raised my hand a few times that I went to church on Father's Day or Mother's Day, just to make a few things, who was Mother's Day? But until I went to that Father's um, Mother's Conference and fully surrender to our Lord Jesus Christ and say, here I am, I am yours. I'm ready to see my mom. I know, and, and I accommodate you guys right now who, who's lost fathers, who are right now in heaven, my wife wanted them. Well, when I lost my father at the age of nine, although he was a little on the rough side, the father was. You know that. Uh, you know, when he came to know the word, he says, Joe, get in it, man. I want to see you in heaven. And I said, who, who said, who said, who's to say I won't be there before you will? He says, we'll see each other in heaven. He also has faith for me. You know, he, he also preached the word. Even through his dementia, he may have forgot who my daughter was, but he knew who the word was. 
And I know when I went to see Dean, 